that was breaking on this newscast last night. Local, state, and federal agents storm a house not far from Milton High School in a firearms raid. Tonight, we're learning more about the man police arrested and the charges against him. WPTZ's Vanessa Mashanya is in the newsroom with details that we're learning tonight. Vanessa. Well, you're right, George. Chris Papano, who was convicted of selling opiates earlier this year, is facing now a federal firearms charge after police documents say they found a gun in his home. And in making the her arrest, however, police got help from another arrestee who happened to live across the street. State police, border patrol, alcohol, tobacco, firearms, and explosive teams, and others stormed Papano's Milton residence on the Moyle Terrace Monday, executing a search warrant. According to court documents, police were investigating Papano since November after an allegation that he possessed a gun, something he's not allowed to do after he was convicted earlier this year on drug charges. Now, also in the paperwork, police called to question his alleged involvement in the Aryan Brotherhood. A white supremacy group, as well they say as leading a local motorcycle riding gang. On Christmas Eve, state police arrested a 25 year old man who told them he lived across the street from Papano and that he saw him with a gun and that Papano possibly had stolen firearms in a garage across the street. On Monday, authorities moved in on Papano's house, seizing a 45 caliber semi automatic pistol. The court papers also say police found brotherhood paraphernalia and swastika flags. In 2013, Papano was arrested for selling prescription opiates to a police informant. And this summer, was convicted, serving 90 days in jail. Now, Papano will return to federal court tomorrow morning to hear the government's motion to detain him. He's currently being held behind bars. Live in the newsroom, Vanessa Mishanya, WPTZ News Channel 5.